Hi, my name is Cy Porter and this is a creative writing tutorial and um, I'd like to talk about the importance of choosing a name for fictional characters. It's always a good idea to, to spend a lot of extra time choosing an effective name for fictional characters because of all the things that you will present the public about this character, a name is very effective. In a name, in the one or, you know, one, two, three words of this name, it has a high impact on the audience. Whatever name you choose can tell a lot more about that character in one or two words then you could tell about that character in many paragraphs. And the way it works psychologically is whatever name an individual has, has a lot more connotation to it than words that, uh, that appear in, in other forms of, of the language. So when you choose a name, you're saying a lot about that individual and you say it in a split second and a lot of it is subconscious so when the audience reads or hears the name they have, get a stronger feeling about that character than they would if you were to spend the time trying to convey through description the same things that you can convey through choosing a name and names are subjective. If you say if you say a name like uh, Kimberly, different people will tell you what kind of person comes to mind when they hear that name. But it um, it's still very effective because there are there are things that are that are similar to the way people feel about certain names. It, it, it's something that can make the audience feel more genuine feelings towards that character. With the internet um, these days, it's easy to find, you know, names of, of certain ethnicity, um, names that are popular for different time periods. So the naming of people is not an exact science. Every time you meet someone new named Kimberly, she will always be different than what you would think of as the name Kimberly, but she will also adjust your definition of what the name Kimberly entails, and also in, in very vague ways she will fit the name Kimberly. Most people, their names fit them. And there could be different reasons for this. I mean, parents who are likely to name their children certain names are likely to raise them in certain ways. And, you know, there could be, um, you know, as an example, um, a friend of mine um, is um, Korean and her name is Christy and her name doesn't exactly fit her but she was adopted so ultimately her name does fit her so you can you can work with that too so there could be there are times when when characteristics there are contradictions and in, in there are paradoxes in a person's character, but they are resolved when you realize why those paradoxes are there. And um, with naming, with choosing a name, the more time, the more time you put into a name, the the more that you can quickly and you can quickly have a strong impact on the audience about who your characters are. 
You need to be careful in choosing names for your characters, too, because names are so likely to say so much, not only about the character, but about your intentions as an author. So if you, um, you know, unless you're doing, unless you're going for, like, um, you know, the superhero genre, um, trying to find a name that's going to be, like, the really cool name or the really you know, powerful name could backfire for you. You know, if you, if you're like, you know, I don't know, if you're doing a detective story and you want, you know, the, the name to be, you know, Xavier or something like that, um, it may, it may come off as hollow, you know, and, um, so when, when you look at a character's name, ask yourself, is it, is it reflecting, um, you know, is it reflecting your intentions as, as an author that, you know, those intentions may not necessarily show up in the character's actions in the story? If you want this character to be, you know, way over the top action hero, um, trying to come up with a way over the top action hero name won't necessarily be effective. It might backfire. Whereas if you create a name that could say other things about that character, then whatever action hero um, um, things they do in the story um, will not be automatically compared to the hopes you have for what you want this character to be as reflected in the name you've chosen for them. On the other hand, don't stumble on the name. Go ahead and name your characters and go along with them and live with them for a while. My main character, um, I changed her name four times. Um, you know, I'm on third draft now, so each time I changed it, I lived with that name for a while. And, and by living with that name, that was where it started to dawn on me, all the all the vague meanings that that name carried and why I might want to change it. So instead of just sitting there, you know, you know, trying to think of one name when you could be working on the story and, and moving the story along, um, what I'll usually do is just kind of name the characters and, and a third of the time I, I'm right on target, you know, because it's a very subconscious thing. So, you know, I'm working with a character, I want the character to be, you know, um, you know, a driver and think of the name and, you know, weeks later I, I'm like, oh, really good name. So, um, and um, it's one of those things that you need to kind of like, like, learn to to listen within you know so as you're working with the story if there's kind of if you have a nagging voice in yourself you need to you need to kind of like listen and and you know be able to start to hear those nagging voices inside of yourself and be willing to to make changes even if it's a hassle and so if if every time you read a certain name there's just a little little resistance to it then you look at it and you say well you know i don't like that name you know and then it'll start to start to dawn on you why and then you'll have much better ideas about what name you do want for that character as you're in within the process of making the story I guess what it's really about is becoming aware that when you say a name, you're saying many things at once, depending on what that name is. And by recognizing that, that in that split second, you are, you know, you could be saying, you know, 10 to 25 things about that person just by saying their name. And these are usually vague but pertinent information and very, um, very strong emotion attached to it. When most people are named by their parents, and think where the parent's mind is at when they name their child. They are putting all their love into this new 
baby of theirs and all their hope. So a person's name, anytime you know a person uses their name or a name is said, that is when in that in that moment the character the the person is betrayed through the lens of the hope for humanity in that one person the 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 love of character in that in that one character type so the name of a of a person can if you want your audience to feel for your character it's a good it's a choosing choosing how you choose their name is a good place to make your audience attached to your character and feel strong emotions for your character and if you look at what kind of information is conveyed in a name in a name you have ethnicity sex um, country of origin class they're they're you know, being an American class is usually has been, um, how would I explain it, um, torn down and built up at the same time for, you know, as long as I've, I've known America. And, but class still plays a part in the names. And so you might have, you know, more East Coast names, more West Coast names, more, you know, um, white trash names, more, you know, um, upper middle class names, and um, then it goes into more subtleties. There are there are, there are different values that that parents want to instill in their children, and then you get that in names too. There are more um, there are more um, um, polite names, and there are more, um, um, you know, sort of shotgun names, and, and, and so when you look at a name, recognize all its potential, and also that there is no right name for a character. This is all vague science. This is all, you know, it, it's not even science. This is all you know, so subjective that you just, you, you know, you can't get it, I mean, you, you can work it effectively, but, um, you know, if you, you could have three very different characters, and they could all have the same first name, and those three different characters could play into that same name in very different ways very effectively. So that's how subjective names are. So a good journal writing exercise that you can do, you know, in your journal is start to write down the names of people you know that you find interesting um, and from there ask yourself does their how does their name contradict their character? Um, what is it like for them to live with that name? How do they feel about their own name? Do they identify with it? What does that name say about them? And you know, look for unique names of of people you actually know that you can look at. You can look at the person and analyze what part their name plays for them and their character um, so that that would be some good journaling um, exercises so I hope that's helpful and um, I hope you have some good writing the reason I make these video tutorials is to get the word out about my own storytelling um, web uh, my own storytelling film um, at solomation.com. So um, please return the favor and check out one of my videos and have a good day.